so I'm getting ready to do like Facebook and Periscope Live and babe he is um, going out his ways it's, that's awesome um, putting up like the, the studio lights and stuff like that for me so I feel really special but I'm also kind of feeling like ah you know a little bit a little nervous but I know when anointing comes it lifts so I'm ready to pray and yeah I'm excited so yeah babe is awesome to make his wife look good right shout out to Tron y'all get y'all give my husband a shout out team let my wife in that's how you do it let your wife in the car close the door behind her after she get in there what's up team so uh we are getting spaghetti stuff and i'm freezing i got my babe's jacket i like wearing this jacket you guys <laughs> yeah so me and babe i wanted lasagna but i compromised with him so he can get spaghetti so yeah so team, today was pretty good, awesome. Um, the Lord moved mightily. A lot of people got healed today on Facebook and Periscope. So yeah, a lot of people moved. Uh, it's right here. Yeah, so I'm back. Uh, a lot of people got healed and stuff today, so I'm very, very grateful. So you guys, I gotta do something to my hair. It, it's a hot mess. Yeah. What up, team? So I am creating a playlist on my YouTube channel, Kimberly Hargraves, and I created the Miracles of Jesus. Uh, and I'm doing warfare strategies for the people that want uh, some strategies to pray effectively concerning spiritual warfare. So check that out on my channel. Then I also created a blog playlist for those guys that want to see it happen in the beginning, how everything started. So you can check that out on my YouTube channel. <sighs> Babe is getting ready to eat seconds of some spaghetti. It was good, y'all. We had, um, of course, it was ground beef, made me sad. But. We are in love, babe. T tell them about the um. The sauce. Love. Yeah, we are in love with this this spaghetti sauce. Was it Newman? Yeah. Italian sausage. Yeah, it is delicious. Yeah. The classical too, but now I like the Newman's Italian sausage better, people. Yeah. Yeah. I made some breadsticks on the side. You know, I had like two breadsticks. I love bread. Some she bread. loves bread. Bread. I know. I'm saying in my country accent, y'all. I'm not that country. She is country. <laughs> she is country. When I first met her, she was asking me, "When, she, when, when can she come over yonder?" No, I said you can't. It's a lie. I said I you can't. Said it, babe. You can't come over yonder. <laughs> what does yonder mean? I don't know. I, I, you tell me. It sound like Rhonda. Come in, Rhonda. Come over yonder. Yeah. So, uh, I have a, I have a confession. What's well, not a confession? I love superheroes, you guys. That's that's my big thing. Yeah. So I'm hooked. Ha uh ha. -huh. Don't judge me. Yeah. So me and babe are gonna watch my favorite superhero, which is Flash. <laughs> yeah, he's about to come on tonight, CW. So yeah. So we're gonna watch that. Um and then afterwards I'm gonna go pray and read my devotions and stuff like that. I don't like Flash, y'all. It's yeah. closed too tight. <laughs> what you got to say about that, babe? You got to say about that. Nothing Look, that. babe, don't. Let me tell y'all something. Pumpkin, she don't like men wearing skinny jeans. But she liked this dude running around in tights. <laughs> running around the city in tights. <laughs> babe, I never even noticed that his... You never knew suit. he had a tight suit. Get out of here. It didn't look tight to me. Okay, babe. you say that for somebody. You thought it was baggy? No, I didn't. I, what I'm looking at him is the speed. That's all. 
that's it. That's it, babe. She didn't know because of the speed. He slowed down at some point. <laughs> she knew he had some tight tights on. I'm not looking at him like that. But I'm going to leave that alone. Because I got two superheroes in my life. I'm going to leave that alone. The Lord and you. Amen. She got game, y'all. <laughs> she got game. That country game. Oh. Yeah, but for those who can't sleep at night, you need to play this playlist, though. Let it just soak up the environment. How do they access the playlist, babe? Where they go? Go to my YouTube channel and then click on playlist and you'll see. What's up, team? Went up to the store real quick. Solo. Speak to my neighbor. And then that's when everything started. That's when I started having visitations from Jesus because I always wanted for God to show me that he was real. You know, then I started having encounters with the hand of God and the, the external voice of God. Then the Lord starts showing me other people's lives around me. Now, uh, it's, it's been a difficult journey. Uh, of course, you know, when you um, first step out, and I know a lot of people, they probably can attest to this. There was a lot of persecution. I lost so-called friends. People call me a witch. You know, they was like, you know, you're, you're not a prophet. And, you know, it was just a, it was a lot of stuff. You know, people thought I was crazy. Because, you know, when uh, to the to the carnal man, somebody say, I hear God. They'd be like, mm, cuckoo, you know. But the natural mind can't comprehend the things of the spirit, right? So I just remember this. Yes, I got really persecuted. And I, it hurt me to the core because I said, God, I thought these people were my friends. You know? So I remember just worshiping the Lord one day and then the Lord began to open up my eyes into the spirit and he showed me weapons in the word of God. And one of the weapons he showed me, prophetess, was flaming arrows. And I, I had a show about this on Eternal Life TV for about a year. And I changed. I went to this trance and I was in the galaxy somewhere. I'm like, what? I'm in the galaxy. And I heard the external voice of God. He said, hold out your hand. I found it later on in the book of Ezekiel and John, uh, the revelator, how they had to eat a scroll or they had a scroll inside of the belly. I'm like, okay. Um, then I remember uh, Jesus. And at the time, I didn't even read the book of Revelation. So I didn't even know. 
I didn't even know about that, but just seeing these encounters made me want to go read the book of Revelations. Because I was always scared to read it because, you know, all the end time prophecy. If you're not living right, it's going to scare the mess out of you. But I, I, I read it <laughs> and then I was like, oh, that's not so bad. It's a blessing at the end of this. I found that vision later on in Revelations 19. Uh, when he had the, the, the Lord of Lords written on the side of his thigh. I was like, oh, wow. I might so stop saying what's up team and start saying what's up cousins. My wife made some lasagna. My beautiful and lovely wife. Let me give her a kiss. Come here, baby. Come here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I'm tired. I'm starving. Yeah, she had a wonderful interview. Oh, man, she fixed me a plate for two people. I can't eat all that. But you told me to give you two scoops. I didn't tell you to give me two scoops. You're trying to stop Well, I, I eat some with you. Come on. Come sit down. What? That plate too big, y'all. It's not. My baby won't eat it too. So you guys, the interview is awesome. Um, keep praying and believing that things will happen. All right. So the good thing is many people were blessed to thank God for that. Babe was there supporting. And um, she wants me back on her show. So that's awesome. But anyways, team, I love you guys. Thank you for joining us on this journey. And you know, like us, give us a thumbs up, share. All right, if you are new to us, subscribe. So you guys, we love you and deuces. deuces.